Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to compare two tables or how to find one information from one table in the another one. So you can see here that I have a two list. First of all is the couple of flags what I have been working with and over there you see that is the name and name of flag and that is the JPEG file. But also I do not have only 34 files which has been finished but also we have a full list of the cities and states so I like to compare if my flag or which flag is necessary to create yeah so I need to compare these two tables and I don't want to find for example that over there is the Argentina and also over here is the Argentina or for example over there is the Botswana and then I have to find where the Botswana is here yeah or for example Zimbabwe is here and somewhere on the bottom is Zimbabwe also so what is my plan is that if I will create something new, I will put the new name here and then system will automatically show the result, if it is true or not, if it is created or not. So let's see, let's try. So we can write a header. So it's a uh, final, yeah, and it's only name of the header. And then we would like to write the necessary information here. So let's try. I like to show you that if you will use the function, it's really easy. And what we would like to found is the count if. So if you would like to found it, it's really easy. You can select the all and then write count if. And the, if you will select go, the system will found for you the necessary criteria. So select the count if, come from OK. Now the system asks you, please select the range. So you are able to select the range like this really easy. So you can also select more yeah, because you have planned to add some more additional information. So let's try. Yeah. And then you have to specify the criteria. So the idea is that I'd like to found from the range. What is the from A2 to, for example, A88. And then criteria will be compared with B2. Yeah. So I will select B2. Now the result is zero. So if I will come from zero means that is not there, but I'd like to see better to true and false. So if you will specify that it's greater than zero means that it's false and it will be uh, equal one means that will be true. Yes. So what does it mean that we can see the false and true, but you know that if I have seen here a two to eight eighty a, then if I will move, and make a copy to another cells, the system will also change the numbers. So it's not good because it's moved down and this is not our plan. What I'd like is that I specify the name of the table. So I am not using the from to, but I like to use directly the name of the table. So we will create a new name. How to create new name is really easy. So you can specify the objects. Yeah, for example, I'd like to select these cells and then directly on the top over here, you can specify the name. So for example, will be flags. Yeah. So if I will specify flags, the system will select the selected table for me. And then over here, I will not specify the range from two, but I will specify the name flags. Now, if I will say enter, it will be same, but always will be flag. So it will be not change. It's really easy to mm, see and read. And now if you will select double click here, if the mouse arrow is changed, the system will move it down. And you can see that couple of flags are set as true because, for example, Australia exists yeah, somewhere here. And also, the, for example, Aruba exists in this list. So over here, if you would like to see true and false and comparison between two tables, it's really good if you use the simple expression count if then specify the name of the table, what you would like to check and then specify the cell for comparison and greater than zero and the system will write for you false and true. I hope so that you like this video tutorial and stay in touch and hit the like button. Thank you and bye bye.